destroy it at the end of the day right because you you people stuck in in, in your evil ways however the case is that guess what you're not hooking on to the voice of the most side right and yet you, you mock the messengers of the most side mm. right because our words what people don't understand our words is not our own when we go out there on the highways or byways what we have in our hands is scriptures not like these pastors who prophesy from their own hearts mm. right we could prove all things according to the scriptures first Thessalonians 5 verse 21 right we, we, we don't prophesy from we, we read we read right so that's why two thirds of you people will not be destroyed at the end of the day you, you're stuck into your, your, your evil ways right but as for the um one third right reason why they have a chance of deliverance this is um zephaniah 3 verse 13 it says in that day shall thou not be ashamed for um 313 it says the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Right? So they said the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. You understand? Nor speak lies. And the most high will delight in someone like that. And that is one hundred and forty-four thousand. Second as just eight and one. Somebody read that. Okay. The second Ezra chapter 8 verse 1 It says and he answered me saying the most high had made the, this world for many But the world to come for few okay. All the way down to three Yes, yeah, so this world was made for few The one to come okay. This world was made for many but the one to come made for few So only few gonna be saved See you had to recognize that not, no, not all Israel gonna be delivered so when you see people not getting this truth, you have to realize that, yeah, guess what? They were destined to be destroyed. That is the reason they're not getting it. Okay. Isaiah 66 verse 4, the Lord said, I will choose their delusion. That is why they believe in vain doctrines. Because right. the most I gave them over unto that so that they would not be delivered. Okay. They cannot come. The scriptures say, awake to righteousness. Mm -hmm. So the most I gave them over to that, that heart, gave the heart over to that mind that they wouldn't awake to righteousness. All right, go ahead. Verse 2, it says, I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold, whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh off. Even so is the course of this present will. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Few shall be saved. You read 41. Alright, so the Lord's saying only few are gonna be saved. Alright? So when you realize that, then you gotta say, guess what? The majority of the people on this earth, your friends, your families, they ain't gonna be saved. Like them people what they're trying to show you going on in Israel right now. This these people only drafted into to, to join the army for World War Three. That is why they're going over there right now. That's right, that's right. They're not fulfilling scriptures concerning Israel because they are not the true Jews of the Bible. Okay. All right, they're not fulfilling scriptures. All right, only a remnant, two hundred and something million people over in the land of Israel right now, not fulfilling scriptures. And there is two hundred and something million people entering into the land. Eh? Okay. Not the not the people that was already living there. There is two hundred and something million entering into the land. They're not fulfilling scriptures. Scripture said. Nations will learn war no more. You can beat your swords into plowshares. That ain't going on over there right now. You call it the borders of the officers of peace. Not going on right now. They're not ruling over nothing. They are not the true inhabitants of Israel. Okay. You people trying to save all Israel ain't gonna happen because you're fighting against the most side. Scriptures say one type that strive it against his maker. Okay. Mm. So you need to cut that shit out. All right, all you people like to go around door to door knocking on people's house like Jehovah Witness hmm. uh, receive this word and they're fighting against the word. You're seeing that they're bent on being a heretic. But you there every week diligently trying to teach them this word. Hey, stop that shit. The scripture says after the first and second admonition, if a man be a heretic, reject. Come. Only a remnant going to be saved. Just keep that in mind. There's, there's, um, <clears throat> there's Romans chapter 9 and 27. It says, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. A remnant shall be saved. Alright, read your last verse. 
this verse 41 it says of, of second Ezra chapter 8 it says for as the husbandman soweth much seed upon the ground and planted many trees and yet the thing that is sown good in his season cometh not up neither doth all that is planted take root even so is it of them that are sown in the world they shall not all be saved they shall mm. not all be saved all right go ahead this is ezekiel chapter 11 16 to 17. therefore say thus said yahweh by shemel shai power although i have cast them far off among the heathen and although i have scattered them among the countries yet will i be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come therefore say Thus said the most high power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. Mm. So yes, the Lord is saying he will assemble you and he will be a small sanctuary. So now if he's a small sanctuary to gather you to bring you to Israel, then guess what? That couldn't be all Israel. Huh? A small sanctuary means under a small number. Mm -hmm. Alright? And the remnant. The scripture said, um, though the Lord told Ezra, don't really bother your head about them that were made to be destroyed. But worry about how the righteous cannot be saved. Because two thirds of Israel are already meant to be destroyed. Alright, somebody go finish off with that scripture, 2 Peter 2.12. Come me read that. 2 Peter 2 and 12. Alright. They were already made to be destroyed. So what we had to worry about is our own salvation, about the salvation of the elect. That's right. That's right. It by song harsh, but guess what? I said because you can't save them that was already made to be destroyed. Predestined. They were predestined to be destroyed, so you just had to worry about the salvation of the elect and to wake the elect up, so that we can leave this place. Okay. All right, go ahead. It says Second Peter, Second Peter, chapter two, verse twelve. It says, "But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed." Speak. Yeah, yeah, they're made to be taken and destroyed. All right. So the Lord saying that two thirds of Israel is made just to be destroyed. So we have to stop worrying about them. All right. Sort of wor stop worrying about two thirds of Israel. These people over there in the land they're not fulfilling scriptures. All right. All these people who in them churches, flocking up in them churches by the millions, they they're not fulfilling scriptures. For the scripture says a small sanctuary, a remnant, and that is not a remnant. That's right. Lord say he will send strong delusions among them that they will believe a lie. Right. And that is what's going on in these churches right now. In these other doctrines. They believe in a lie because the Lord only wants a small number. Now they will talk about GMS. GMS is the most hated GMS. This blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Blase blase. But guess what? That is just what went on with the Lord and the disciples. Hmm. Alright? Can. Quite calm. Yeah, come like if you know you, you make a um, you're doing a show and you book some tickets and you, you, you sell out your tickets, you make 230 tickets and you, you have tickets for the um for the VIP and for the wherever and wherever. After them tickets sold out. Like, like exactly. Can you must have a big number of people line up outside the gate to come in. But that is it. You also have something to read? Yeah, I didn't finish um, it up too. Two and two. Right. It goes on to say, it says, Speaking evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Gone. And that is what's going to happen to the two thirds. Because only one third is going to be delivered. Of which right. one third is a small number, 144,000 elect, along with the, with the women and children. Some of the women and children, because some of these black bitches deserve death. That's right. Right? So let's remember that. Only a small faction of Israel is going to be delivered, but the mass multitude is going to be destroyed. So now we have to make sure that we part of that, that one third by what? Giving all diligence. Mm -hmm. Apostle Taha gave us an order that guess what? This is a year of this death, destruction, and diligence. So we have to be diligent, push them three videos a week to make sure to make our election. Call uh, or call an election show because we show if we are part of that number, so it's by hope. All right, mm -hmm. anybody, anything they want to read, anything they want to say? All right, and with that, 
I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Give double down and see the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hopeland Saints, say, Lek, to the trend that comes, say, Shalom.